Today through this video we are going to learn how to do connection of digital DC ammeter and digital DC voltmeter. Friends you must have seen in load of AC power supply for measuring current of these we use a CT. This is a CT. Similarly if you want to measure current of DC load then you have to use a shunt. I will tell you all the details of these one by one. First of all in this ammeter and voltmeter let's understand some basic things. Through this voltmeter we can measure DC voltage. At the back side of this voltmeter you will find four terminals. With these we have to connect AC power supply and DC power supply both. We will connect AC power supply to turn on display of this voltmeter. Now this voltmeter we have we can measure 1 volt to 300 volt DC power supply through this voltmeter. An ammeter we are going to use. When you look at the back side of this ammeter then here you will find total 4 terminals to which we have to do connection. Now among these 4 terminals on these 2 terminals you have to provide AC power supply. What happen on connecting AC power supply is display of this ammeter will turn on. After this these 2 terminals here on these 2 terminals you have to give feedback of DC current. For giving feedback of DC current to these terminals you have to use shunt. This shunt I have what is the value of this shunt that we have to set in this ammeter. For setting value in ammeter 3 buttons are there. By using these 3 buttons we can set the value of shunt in this ammeter. How much is the value of this shunt I have? Let's see. Here 30 ampere which is written it means current. So from this shunt 30 ampere current can flow. After this 60 millivolt which is written here it means with this shunt wire which is connected to ammeter in that wire how much voltage can be there that voltage is written here. Friends this ammeter we have with this ammeter wire of CT which we connect in that wire voltage which flows that must not exceed 60 millivolt. If more than 60 millivolt voltage flows then this ammeter here this may get damage. So whenever you are going for connection of DC ammeter you have to be careful regarding value of shunt. Ok then let's learn how to do connection of voltmeter and ammeter. Look if you only use voltmeter then connection will be like this. And if you only use ammeter then connection will be done like this. But through this video I am going to explain connection of both at a time. Let us first connect both the meters with phase supply. For connecting with phase supply I am using a MCB. In this MCB if you look at the back side of this then here phase supply and neutral supply is already connected. Now with output terminal of this I mean with this terminal connect both these wires. Now take one wire and in this voltmeter here with third number terminal connect phase supply at this terminal of AC power supply. Similarly take second phase supply wire and in this ammeter with third number terminal connect this wire with this terminal. Now for neutral power supply I am using these two wires and with MCB connect both these wires. Take one wire and with neutral terminal of ammeter connect this wire with this terminal. Neutral terminal is last one so with last terminal I connected this wire. After this neutral power supply here take this to voltmeter and with last terminal connect this wire with this terminal. Now I am going to use two LED lamps. By connecting this with these I am going to measure current and voltage in ammeter and voltmeter. This LED lamp I have this works on 12 volt DC power supply. To provide power supply to these I am going to use a SMPS. This SMPS I have provides 24 volt in output. But the LED lamp I have this will operate at 12 volt. So what I did I connected these two lamps in series. You can see the two wires of these lamps among two wires one wire is connected with each other so that they can be connected in series. Now this lamp I have by providing 24 volt power supply we can easily operate these. Now this SMPS here I connected input power supply with this. Now what we have to do from output terminal of this take the power supply and connect with the load. But I have to measure current also and like I told you to measure current you have to use a shunt. So first of all connection of shunt will be done. This SMPS convert AC power supply into DC. This is why on these terminals I already connected AC power supply. Now what we have to do at the terminal where we get positive power supply in SMPS connect a wire with that terminal. I am connecting this wire on this terminal I mean a positive terminal. After connecting this 
take other end of the wire and in this shunt at this terminal here connect this wire with this terminal right now i am showing you temporary connection but whenever you go for connection use lugs now with this shunt with the output terminal you have to connect the wire of the load so the positive supply wire of the lamp is to be connected with this terminal now negative wire of the lamp is to be connected with negative terminal of the smps now what we will do with this terminal connect one wire i am connecting this wire here this wire is now connected now take other end of this wire and in this emitter if you look at the back side of emitter then here you can see two more terminals with second terminal among these two this one with this terminal you have to connect this wire this terminal will be for positive power supply so i am connecting this here after this at this terminal wire which we will connect will be for negative signal take this wire and with first terminal of emitter connect this wire with this terminal connection is done let's understand once again what we did we connected this dc power supply with the load after this in this dc power supply this positive power supply is first of all connected at one terminal of shunt now here we connected positive power supply so wire going from this terminal will go to positive terminal of emitter after this this terminal here will be for negative so wire connected with this terminal is connected with negative terminal of emitter and as i told you to turn on display of emitter we have to connect 230 volt ac power supply so through mcb i connected ac power supply also here now through this voltmeter let's do the connection for measuring dc voltage also what we will do this terminal here by connecting one wire with this terminal to this dc voltmeter provide signal of positive power supply so i am using a wire here take this wire and with this terminal connect this wire now take other end of this wire and in this voltmeter with second terminal of voltmeter this one with this terminal connect this wire after this at this terminal we have to connect negative power supply what i will do with this smps negative wire of led which i connected before with the same wire connect this wire also take this end of wire and in this dc voltmeter with first terminal connect this wire with this terminal in this way so connection of these emitter and voltmeter is completed now first of all i am turning on mcb through mcb ac power supply will turn on for now i only turned on ac power supply after turning on ac power supply you can see emitter and voltmeter both are showing zero zero values right now they are showing zero value because we didn't turned on power supply of smps you can see here lights are also off so now i am turning on power supply of smps also after turning on power supply of smps you can see lamp is turned on let's put this light aside right now you can see emitter is showing 0.6 ampere value and voltmeter is showing 23 volt current it is showing here is not correct because till now value of shunt is not programmed here as i told you in the starting whichever shunt we use value of this need to be programmed in emitter for setting the value what you have to do press this set button after pressing this you can see here 60 is written it means that shunt we are using is of 60 ampere see how much current it is showing now right now 0.6 ampere current it is showing what i will do i will set value of shunt in this emitter shunt i have is of 30 ampere so i will program 30 here so i selected 30 here and now i will save after setting this you can see current it is showing is reduced now 0.3 ampere current it is showing it means these two led lamps i have these two lamps are consuming 0.3 ampere current and dc power supply which is going to these lamps is 23 volt that's it friends friends i hope you like this video if you like this video then please do like share and comment on my video and if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video